Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be on how I got this pretty soft with a bold lip um, look going on and I love how the look turned out. It's for, I normally don't really do pinky shimmers. I normally lean more towards a gold shimmer but I do really like how it turned out and I really wanted to just test out my new camera. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then make sure you stay tuned for the video. But before we get into that, if you're not already subscribed to me, then make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can stay with me. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I'm going to put my primer on first because today I am going to be doing my foundation for my brows. Just so I don't mess them up or anything, you know in the process because I really hate having to redo my brows after I already do all of my extra zhuzh and I'm going to be using my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation and this is in the color Deep Honey. Just going to put a whole bunch of that on, you know, as you can see, a whole bunch. Don't judge. What? This actually isn't as much as I normally put on because I normally cover my whole face with this foundation. I'm actually probably going to have to put more on as much as I did put on. Still probably going to put more on, but I don't know. Well, I'm going to go in and I use something new on my brows. So I'm going to show you a little bit of me doing it on here. Um, I used the Benefit Cabral and the number four. I believe I got the number four. Yeah, and yeah, I know I normally use a pencil, but I got this um, just to try it out after I got that um, whatever that brow cream was in the my boxy charm box, and I love it. I love it. So I'm just gonna brush my brush, my brush, my brush, brush my brows up with the spoolie from Aesthetica that I got in one of my boxy charm boxes. You know, boxy charm be coming through in the clutch. When I want to test stuff out. They really be coming through. My face is breaking out like in this region right here. Like, and I don't know where it's from and it's killing me. I got to go see Beyonce on Saturday. It's killing me. Like, ugh, I fell in love with this. The first time I used it, I fell in love with it. I was just like, you know what? Sephora came through. Sephora came through for me. Benefit came through for me. Because I was torn between this and shade 3. But ultimately, obviously, I decided on this. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my brows off camera. My son ended up crying, so I had to go get him and try to comfort him so he can go back to sleep because it's like 10 o'clock. So 10, actually probably like 11 o'clock. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start my eyes. I'm going to go in and use the Anastasia, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette t t today. And I'm going to go ahead and take that shade Orange Soda and place that. I'm probably going to place that all over my lid. And I'm probably going to use this brush from your local beauty supply. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade Rustic, and I'm going to place that in my crease, okay? I'm probably going to use a fluffy brush, so I'm going to use this Morphe M158, 518. I, I think I'm dyslexic, y'all. This is my first time using this palette. I 
this party. Okay, so then next I'm going to go ahead and take this shade Sienna and place that also in my crease. If y'all couldn't tell, I'm trying to deepen up my crease some before I go in with my lid shade. Oh, this is the Morphe 514 brush. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and take this color Mulberry right here. And I'm going to place that on like the outer corner of my eye and then swipe it into my crease. I'm going to go back in with that first brush with that first color rustic just to buff out the edges because I don't want any harsh lines. That is super pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm going to half cut my crease, I think. I think. So now I'm going to go ahead, oh these are all so pretty, and I think I'm going to take this shade Dusty Rose right here and place that on the first beginning part of my eye. Okay, so I'm going to go in and take my Morphe M167 brush. Let me wipe it off because I didn't wipe it off from when I used it last time and I used the blue last time and that would not be pretty. I'm going to go ahead and dip into that shade Sultry right here. It's so pretty. I couldn't stay away. I'll just wipe that off with a wipe. I'm not going to wet my... Well, I guess it's wet already, but I'm not going to spray my brush. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty. But I'm going to go back in with that rose pink shade right beside it just to give it a lick just to brighten it up just a little bit
Yep, I did exactly what I needed it to do. Egg, exactly. Yes, I'm loving this. So I'm gonna go back in with that shade Mulberry and deepen back out my outer corner since I feel like I lost it a little bit. And then, should I add some black in there? Nah, I'm not gonna add no black because that's just gonna make it too dark. But I wanna keep this kinda soft. You'll probably like, whoa. But yeah, it's kinda soft. So I'm done with the eyes, at least like that. And I'm going to pray for me. I'm gonna go on with and do some wing liner with the pretty vulgar blacklist gel liner and this is just the black like it sounds like it is and i'm going to go in with this angled brush by aesthetica because whoa no i'm not no i am not mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go on with this brush by Anastasia. It's an angled brush because I think this will work better than the eyeliner brush for me because, yeah, I don't know why. Okay, I messed it up. I didn't touch it too much. But that is good. That is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and I'm going to use the Born This Way Concealer in the color Coco, same as I used to prime my eyes. And I'll do my nose in a second. Let me set this concealer. I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Powder and the color Medium. Duh. And I'm going to use a sponge today. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. 
with chestnut from MAC. I can't find it. So some random brown pencil. Then we're going with Max Antique Velvet. It's a matte lipstick. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight with this highlight shade in the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on this note blush. And I'm going to and put some of this color Sienna on my lower lash line. And then add some black liner. And then I'm going to come back after I finish putting liner on and spray my hair you know all that good stuff okay you guys made it to the end of the video and i really hope you enjoyed watching me get all of this done because i really loved it it is hot as a firecracker in here i turned the air conditioning off like i said because it's really loud and i didn't want it to be like distracting to you guys while i was watching the video um but let me know down below how you feel about it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see me do more like softer with like softer colors like pinky and like, you know, rosy colors and all that. Then make sure you let me know down below. But I mean, that's really all I have to say for this video. Let me know how the quality is of this video because I'm loving this new camera. Um, shout out to my boo zaddy for getting it for me. Um, but that's really all I have for this video. And so... I'm Tiffany, like always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.